Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Today I will be redesigning two of my older custom dolls, Obsidian and Phobia. Both these dolls were customized back in 2019. I love both of their designs, but now it's time for change. For Obsidian, I will be redoing her face, hair, and adding some more uh, details to her outfit. But her hat and the dress will remain relatively the same. I might also change some of her body as well. For Phobia, I will be re remaking her outfit and changing her face, but her hair will remain the same. I do love most of the colors I used for Phobia, so I will be reusing them for her new design as well. Let's begin with Obsidian, the witch. To begin, I remove all her clothes and accessories. It does look like her body was stained by the dress. Always make sure to wash any doll clothing that you get that has been dyed previously before putting it on the doll. I then remove the face with 100% acetone. Due to the gloss varnish I used, I had to peel away and scrape away the gloss before I was able to actually remove the face completely with the acetone. Now my original obsidian was a dark witch with a soft side. She was using her magic to bring color and bright things to the world. She makes spells and charms to make her friends smile. Once the face is removed, I scrape away the inside of her head to remove the hair. Once all the hair is out, I clean the face and scalp one last time with 100% acetone and then with water and rubbing alcohol. For her body, I couldn't remove the staining, so I just took a different Ever After High body from my collection. My idea is to make her half ghost and half skeleton. For the parts, I took a leg and hand from Spectra and Skeleta. To prep Spectra's leg, I use acetone to remove the white paint, and the ones clean and clear, I add a few layers of gloss top coat nail polish to the leg to make it extra shiny and extra clear. To add the new legs to the body, I remove the originals just by cutting them off, and then I take my Dremel tool and I drill a hole into both parts, the new legs, and into the main body, into the knee joint area. Then I stick a thick piece of nail into the main body legs and a bit of glue to the tip, and then push the new legs onto the nail. At first I was able to keep the mobility of Spectra's knee joint, but I lost it when the leg broke. I use other parts of Skeleta's body to create other details for the outfit. I also paint the skeletal parts a silver and add a shimmer top coat, again a nail polish. Later on I did add some glow in the dark paint to each part of the skeleton. I also made a small staff and wand for her. To begin the face up, I seal the face with Mr. Super Clear Matte. Once the sealant is dry, I draw on the outline of the skull in a light gray pencil. Once happy with the design, I go in with a black color pencil and pastels, adding shadows and highlights to the skull. For her eye, I draw the outline with pastels as eyeshadow and black tear details under the eye. I then draw on the outline of the eye as well as adding an eyelid crease and then go in with adding white details. Mm -hmm. 
I then go in with adding white details like her liner as well as the tear details, black and white lines going down from her eye, as well as starting the eyebrows. I continue with adding more details over each layer. I did originally want to give her a eye color or her a pupil, but then I decided to keep with the original design and go with a full black eye. For the lips, the bottom will be black with a shimmer line and the top will be a dark silver. I did off camera add some shimmer to her eyes and skull half. I go over with more white I finally seal the face with a gouache varnish on the lips, skull, eyes, and shimmer details. Time to face your fears with phobia. Before anything, I undress her and remove the old face up with acetone. Similarly to Obsidian's face, I had to remove the first layer of gloss with tweezers. I clear off the face from the black drips. I peel and scrape the drips off. I clean the body from the black drips. I have to scrape and after very carefully using acetone to wipe away anything left. For the body modifications, I am just reapplying the black drips only to her legs. Later on, I do add some neon pink drops. I did initially add them also to the neck, but then I did remove them later on. For her new face, I want to keep some elements of her old one, like the color and the extra eyes as well, but with a twist. I first start with her eye shape and shadows. I use different shades of pinks, purples, and blues. I add extra small eyes also on her forehead and cheeks. For her mouth, I want it to be more monstrous, so I overdraw the mouth crease with red and blacks and browns as well and add some white teeth. With each layer, I build the color and add more details to the eyes and mouth. Once happy with the details, I go over portions with acrylic, white paint, and pink. Off camera, I make the smaller eyes black with white pupils and add black and pink drops to the mouth. Finally, I seal the eyes, lips, and teeth and drips with gloss varnish. For her outfit, I use Moonlight Jewel's pleated skirt pattern from her sewing book, Volume 1. I use a hot pink and black to make the skirt. The design I'm going for is a half pleated and half mini skirt. 
I used my iron and pins to make the pleats. It took me three tries to finally get an outcome I liked. I then add a silver chain and a harness straps to the mini skirt half. To spice up the outfit, I use ribbon and jewelry rings and chain to make a harness for the shirt. The pink wasn't neon enough, so I had to paint it to match the other details of the outfit. The top is similar to the top I made for Lady Tatiana in my last video. For her shoes, I used the old ones. I just painted the main part of the shoe neon pink. And here are the final dolls, Obsidian the Ghost Skeleton Witch. Obsidian a witch who once chased after the light and all things bright, now cursed to haunt the night. Undead made of flesh, bone, and spirit. Phobia, the venomous spider who feeds on fear. Phobia is a spider girl who feeds on fear. Don't wander and get caught in her web. She may be pretty with her bright neon glow. She just might bite. They turned out so good. I'm very happy with both of them. This video is just a small in-between of bigger projects. More simple than creating a whole design from scratch. I'll probably be making more videos like this. Just changing small parts of a doll and seeing how much I either improve or if they just end up ruined. It's a mystery. Either way, I hope you all had fun and enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more and subscribe to catch future videos. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.